In this short video, I present a number of applications of the H5P platform that I use to address some of the challenges in presenting the chemistry lab and lecture in an online environment. Over the past two semesters, the first year chemistry labs have been presented as a hybrid of in-person and online labs. For the online labs, we elected to produce videos of the experiments after which data are provided to the students to process. Here we see one example for a calorimetry experiment. The videos provide some theoretical background and context and show the actual lab technique and data collection. Our goal in this lab is to use coffee cup calorimetry to experimentally determine the enthalpy change for two different aqueous reactions. In the last part of the experiment, data is collected with the goal to ultimately determine delta H5. Scott taps the start button to start the temperature versus time data collection. When the temperature has stabilized, he adds the ammonium chloride to the water. To promote student engagement, and to ensure some level of accountability, I use the H5P platform to provide interactive questions associated with the videos. The questions probe students' understanding of the experimental steps by asking them to make relevant calculations and also to make predictions about possible outcomes. The data for the video experiments only become available if the students achieve a perfect score in these interactive questions. A perfect score is indeed possible because students have multiple attempts of these questions. In the past, one of our labs involved an in-person tutorial that allowed students to work and think in three dimensions with chemistry model kits. In attempting to simulate this situation, I prepared a tutorial using the H5P course presentation which results essentially in an interactive slideshow. I included embedded videos made with chemistry modeling software that show the manipulation of three-dimensional models. We will go to a different molecular visualization tool to explore this next point. Once again, here is the ball and stick model for butane. Because carbon atoms are bonded by sigma bonds, rotation about the bonds can occur the videos were then followed up with relevant questions. The students were also guided in using an online chemistry draw software. To check the correctness of their drawings, a unique code called a SMILES code could be exported and then checked in the H5P quiz feature. The scores of the tutorial would be tallied and a perfect score would allow the student to access a follow-up post-tutorial quiz. Normally, for in-person labs, we would require students to prepare a lab notebook prior to coming to the lab. This ensured that students had read and hopefully understood the experiment. To minimize the exchange of paper and books, etc., during the pandemic, however, we elected not to use the lab notebook. Instead, we had students complete an online lab assignment, which was again created using the H5P course presentation feature. The goal was to assist students to be able to picture the steps in the experiment and also to be familiar with the specific quantities of the reagents used. In this example, you see that I initially type in values with the incorrect level of precision that is not enough significant figures. Only when the correct precision is shown is the answer marked correct. For online teaching, many of us have found that the delivery of content has been more challenging and less efficient. To support student learning and make some attempt to achieve the plethora of learning outcomes, I have used H5P to make numerous interactive lecture videos and tutorials. Here is one example of a tutorial on the topic of aromaticity for my second year organic course. Again, the emphasis is to allow students to engage with the material in an interactive manner with immediate and hopefully rich feedback. Hopefully this video has provided you with a sense of how the H5P platform supports student engagement in the chemistry lab and lecture. I thank you for your kind attention.